problems associated with traditional shadow mapping techniques like aliasing, flickling, and disconnected shadows. Also, we will be implementing AI-powered DLSS, so players will be able to increase their frame rate while maintaining the visual quality of the game. For players looking for better responsiveness, we've integrated the Reflex Low Latency technology to lower system latency. This combines both GPU and game optimization. We're also happy to announce that Reflex will be coming to Call of Duty Warzone in the future. We have so much more to talk about, but right now I would like to end it back to David Van Der. Van? We've declassified a whole lot today, and one thing is clear. Black Ops Cold War is here, and it's ushering in a new chapter of deniable operations that are undeniably Call of Duty at its very best. Realistic, plausible, gritty. You've seen our team-wide commitment to storytelling, infusing the story and spirit of the Cold War narrative into everything we do, even in multiplayer. You've seen our emphasis on authenticity shine through every location, every weapon, every vehicle, every character. Each one telling a story we can't wait for you to uncover and experience. You've seen us challenge ourselves to not only innovate on classic game modes, but introduce a new generation of instant classics. Modes like VIP Escort and Combined Arms Domination. You'll see that duo played today, and it's just the start, as we've got massive drops of free content planned post-launch, including new and limited time modes. No matter what type of multiplayer gamer you are, you'll find something for you. Tying it all together is that signature combat you love. Grounded and always realistic, you'll move fast and fluid. Feel powerful when you need to be and customized just the way you want to be. The new creative class and score streak systems give you even more of what you love, infusing more control and cinematic moments with less friction between you and the gameplay than ever before. And this is a true connected experience. Warzone and Cold War. The events in one will impact the events in the other, expanding Call of Duty in new ways you've never seen before. And Black Ops Cold War is not only a cross-platform game, but it's also a cross-generation cross-platform game. Now, that should be the end of our show, but this wouldn't be a Black Ops multiplayer reveal without some Black Ops-style mind games. We have talked a lot today about what Black Ops is, how it feels, what it does, but for over 10 years, Black Ops is also something else. A game that consistently presses the boundaries about what multiplayer means. Our team relentlessly looks for opportunities to offer new types of multiplayer experiences. In Black Ops Cold War, we're excited to be launching an entire new category of multiplayer gameplay called Fireteam. This new format of multiplayer brings together everything that we loved about making Cold War and everything you'll love about playing Cold War. Across every fire team mission and mode, you'll discover some of the most imaginative game loops we have ever designed. The fire team format allows us to emphasize teamwork and reward creativity, and it allows you to do things you've never done in Black Ops multiplayer before. You'll fight in squads of four called fire teams. You'll deploy into larger maps, play fast, pushing through multiplayer objectives and modes that demand quick thinking. The action won't just affect you, but the environment you battle in. Enter Fireteam Dirty Bomb, one of the most unique game loops we've ever imagined. You and your team must search for uranium. Then, deliver that uranium to Dirty Bomb's position around the map. Deposit uranium and detonate the bomb. Now, avoid radioactive fallout as you navigate a toxic battlefield. Every decision you make impacts your survival rate and your success rate. We can't wait to tell you even more about Fireteam Dirty Bomb and the other fire team modes and maps in the weeks ahead as we get closer to our public beta. I guess there's only one thing left to do. Let's play Black Ops Cold War.
threat neutralized. You're here because you're the best special forces NATO has to offer. We're all that keeps the world from turning to cinders, comrades. We work off the books. Operate in the shadows. To keep the wolves at bay. Today, we reshape the world. What the fuck are we doing in Miami? Let them come. Get early access to the open beta and instant access to the woods operator pack in modern warfare and warzone. Welcome to the Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War Worldwide Multiplayer Reveal. The Depths and Prayer just gave us our first look into the details around the next generation of global combat for Cold War Multiplayer, so thank you, team. We are pumped to start showcasing all the different deniable operations and signature combat experiences they've been talking about. This right here is where we step into the awesome chaos of multiplayer, and wow does what they've got on tap this year look good. We're going live with Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War Multiplayer, bringing you action from dozens of top creators and CDL pros from across the planet, from their homes to our studio to you in a way and scale we've never done before. Each one of them is about to deep dive into the game and we'll be jumping on board with them to get you all the action from their point of view. Right here is the place where we're giving you the goods. Core 6v6 style Black Ops modes like TDM, Kill Confirmed, and Domination. 
And we're about to wreak some havoc in brand new modes like combined arms, which just happens to include the vehicle fueled warfare we gave you a little taste test of earlier. This unprecedented worldwide reveal also means that you're about to get your first good look at the highly competitive VIP Escort mode. And as a bonus for everyone watching this stream, we'll also talk about how Treyarch is approaching free post-launch content for Black Ops Cold War, as well as how they've optimized multiplayer for PlayStation 5. This sounds awesome! Are you okay? Are you ready? Holy shit, yes, I am ready! Let's do this! What's up, guys? I'm Nameless, and I'm here to make sure that you guys don't miss any of the crazy moments that we have throughout the day. We have some of the top streamers from around the entire world itching to play Cold War, and we're going to be kicking it off here very shortly. These guys have been streaming. These are your favorite guys playing, you know, different games that we've had over the years and playing up some of them on the screen right now. We are going to have some of the guys that I've been loving to play with and watch over the years. Bobby Poff Gaming, Drifter, Cat Conti, Cat Gun, Legion, you know these guys from YouTube, from Twitch, from all over the world. One of my favorites being Nick Merckx, Noah J, Sean J Gaming, and also Marksman. I can't wait to watch these guys drop in on Armada, Symphony, Teep, Tim the Tatman. Hopefully he can stay on the map, and also Try Max. It's going to be an incredible day. We also have many more, as well as some of our CDL pros. They're going to be all participating today. And now let's take a look at what these guys are going to be starting off with. We have 12 versus 12 combined arms domination on Armada. This is the first map ever to be fully on water. But let's kick things off, and I'm going to throw it to Maven and Merc. Thank you so much, Nameless. Uh, yes, for the commentary, myself and Big Merc. How you doing, buddy? I, I'm just so excited to be here. Obviously, we love revealing these things, and while I cannot wait to jump into the gameplay, the trailers, they just look so darn good. Yeah, it's like death taxes, and we know we've got a new Woo. Call of Duty every year, and I'm excited to get into this and look at all uh, yeah, the, the new modes, the new vehicles, all the stuff we're going to touch on, whether it's for casual player or competitive player. We're going to go through all the cool features this game has. Uh, we've obviously had some eyes on with it, seen some of the players playing it, looked at some of the internal stuff, and it's just really cool, like the passion and excitement. Well, you saw from all the devs, everybody's ready to get this game out there for people to play. Yeah, just so many new things that we're going to be taking a look at, just so many new features. As Nameless was saying, this map entirely on water. There's vehicles you can take around the map. You can play on the boats. There's going to be five different zones. It's first to 400. And, well, there's just so many different ways to play the map. All right, so what, kicking it off with Noah J, uh, the Easter egg man himself. He has been popping off lately. It's awesome to see his success and, obviously, a very talented Call of Duty player in his own right. We'll see if he can hit with a sniper. Just taking a look at our good buddy Mud Dogs in there, Jericho, Teep. You've got a full laundry list of just popular streamers going off as Noah J hitting shots. And, and just right away, you look at this map, you look at this gameplay, and doesn't it just look like Treyarch? The color palette pops out. You have so many different attachments that we're going to be going with. You see the kill feed. You have the traditional Black Ops mini map. Man, I just uh, love Treyarch. No, yeah, I love, love the mini maps. So the first things we noticed <laughs> when, you, when you took a look at the new title coming out this year. But Noah, as you'll see in pubs more often than not, he's set up in a power position, snipe in hand, just looking to drop numbers. But yeah, I mean, he's been around for so long, comfortable with every dev, every title, as he's experienced everything Call of Duty has to offer. But yeah, it's, uh, what Nameless was saying. Just this is like what the first map that's completely on water. You already see score streaks coming in. I believe that was a attack chopper in as he is just dominating the other team, but still a tight race in the score department. Yeah, I mean, her, his first clip when he first tweeted out, I, I was watching as you guys were introing it. You know, we we're going through the devs and he goes, sniping is back. Noah's so excited. You see the zip line coming through from ship to ship. It just looks so smooth. Chaos in the air. The attack chopper is going down and his team with a slight little lead. Well, let's see if he can keep it rolling. It's been one heck of a life for him. You know how much he loves to operate with that snipe in hand. He's got the shotgun for close range. A reminder, this is combined arms domination, 12v12. And we're going to be showing a wide range of stuff today, right? We're going to have some 6v6, 12v12, showing different maps from your three lane maps to your more open kind of sandbox maps as well. There's something for every player in this title. And, you know, we'll progress through that over the course of the next two hours or so. But just exciting to see the new twists on gameplay that Treyarch have to provide. Uh, obviously, we love working with them, and the gameplay they've come up with throughout their cycles has just been 
and say. Yeah, and something to notice today when we're going through domination, something that's a little bit new compared to past Call of Duty titles, it's not just one flag. It's more of an area that you're really going to be capturing. It's going to create more of a, I think, a combat dynamic around those zones, right? So, you know, you can play in different areas. You can ca right, cool, capture cool. it from different spots. Uh, but here as well, it sounds like we're hopping on board with Swag. We're going to be jumping from lobby to lobby. We got a lot of different creators as they get started. Yeah, I was going to say, Priesta looks a little bit different yeah, right now. Swag. <laughs> this is Swag. We've been watching him a lot on Warzone. We know what a monster he can be. But over to Jericho, one of, one of my favorite streamers to watch. You know, he gets in some of these big tournaments he'll play in on Warzone in various modes. And Jericho, maybe, maybe not the most talented player in the entire world. Probably not but you know what? He's handsome. Uh, He's one of the most entertaining the streamers in the world. And uh, oh, no, way, no I, I love him. I love Jericho to death. Guy's a beast. He loves to have fun. Uh, and that's what's so important. You know, he's trying to show off the zip lines a little bit. You can hear him talking a little bit. I mean, they've had some experiences. Well, this is Sky's one of the CDL pros. It was almost, he was an MVP candidate for us. But here you go. You see him taking a boat, trying to capture this A zone. And yeah, swimming. Oh. Well, when was the last time you saw someone with Black Ops 3, three right? right? So, you know, you, you have these different features from past titles in this game. We'll see what he can do from the sneaky underwater position. But, yeah, goal. just working the objective for now. As his team, I think, doesn't have a single cap as of now. But remember, we're going to be hopping through a variety of matchups. Right? There's a lot of players playing this, a lot of different streamers. Uh, if you're wondering why the score looks a little bit different, we're just in, hopping brother. through a ton of different POVs and showing you guys how stuff is breaking down throughout the course of the day. As we go right over to Marksman, and he's in a boat looking to get busy. <laughs> Yeah, you can see he's got a he's got a turret on him as well. Yeah, Just right, well, you Don't can hear that well, minigun go off <laughs> later. Priesta, that's a nice headshot. Well, Marksman, like known for his search to destroy gameplay, Security he has been Bravo. playing Call of Duty for so so long since I mean we've been involved. So great to see him involved today. Well, yeah, just patrolling the air right now with this boat. And well, Swag, he's uh, getting aggressive. He's got the MP5, the classic MP5, and you can just hear hey, Tim yelling. Yes, Tim, Tim, I get it. I'm not a father, but I am also bald, and I know it makes life a little bit more difficult. But, Tim, there is love out there for bald men like us, and you're an absolute beast. But, yeah, are you surprised to see Swag with an MP5 in hand? No, get to be very natural. Yeah, get, getting aggressive, right? Uh, you, you watch him play Warzone, he gets busy. Tim, on the other hand, you see the movement coming in. Yeah, a lot of these guys, they're used to Modern Warfare, it's going to take them some time to get used to the movement throughout the maps, and nice shots by Tim. He's uh, rocking that assault rifle. Clip it and ship it. Well, it's going to be interesting, too. You've seen, like, they yeah, talked a little bit about the score streak I'm stuff and how it's going to work, right? That's going to carry on through death, and depending if you're getting a lot of kills within that one death, there's a multiplayer to work with. But also, I kind of one thing I kind of like is, you know, we've talked about sort of score streak spam in the past when somebody's going off. The fact that there's going to be kind of a cooldown on it, so there won't be that same spam, it's going to be interesting to see how it plays out. I'm excited to see how it works in the various pub modes. But we'll take a look at kind of the loadout screen as he's changing, get into a different one. I think that's courage we're hearing as well. Maybe a little like coaching for the, the squad. Water. At least I do. So that's what I'm going to go looking for. All right, so Drifter, you're hearing his strategy around this zone. He likes to get in the water, likes to get busy, just trying to look around him, man. Okay. It just looks so darn good in this area. All the different the right graphics, side, all the different colors. Me, basically. <laughs> I was actually thinking about that. Like, it's what actually crazy. For you? Yeah, I'm not it's actually crazy, like how. Well. So I'm actually gonna wild, like just water graphics. Yeah. Now that's like a silly thing to talk about when you think about years and years and years experience okay, games so like it's just nutty how far it's come they're all above me if i try to go out any other like way oh God. trying to figure out what he wants but i, I just love the 74 so U. it's always been one of my favorite guns good. back from cod 4 back from black ops 1 i am so excited that he's back here in, in cold war nice shot by drifter with that really headshot are. taking down hutch hutchy hutch uh, so he just continues to go around this zone, and hey! well, it is the, the that's not Hutch. Well, that's Karma. That that's Karma. That's one of the he's greatest Call of Duty players clown. of all time. Absolute monster. You guys want and he's actually one, one of my favorites boats? to watch I mean, at the Jeff, beginning of the games because oh, he, come on. Oh, come on, Seth. he is always switching it up, trying different weapons. Like, the guy just five, loves playing five. God. No, yeah, no. He just he just oh, loves the game. He really yeah. just loves the game. Uh, I think a little bit of trash talk that was coming from uh, his former 